OK, so I'll put every drum that's active back to full complexity range. Put the ball up to fully complex. Every drum is playing at fully complex. The most notes they can play for the pattern for their layer. Now, let's take out shakes and hats and just focus on the kick. OK. The kicks are fully complex. It's playing every possible note it can play in the pattern for its layer. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom. Down from there, its next level of complexity is boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Down from there, its next level of complexity is boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Down from there, its next level of complexity it stays with this current pattern for quite a bit of range of travel for the complexity, and then eventually, it gets to its next level of complexity, four on the floor. Boom, 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 boom. Then it stays with that four on the floor, down its complexity range, down, 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 still doing four on the floor until it gets quite near the bottom. Then it switches to its next least complex pattern. Boom, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, ones and threes. And down from there it goes to its least complex, first speed to the bar only. Boom, two, three, four, boom, two, three, four. Right? Now, at every level of complexity the kick is playing, there's a variation on that pattern. When a drum is playing at its most complex, every possible note it can play right at the top of its complexity, the variation that will be introduced will not add notes to make a variation on the pattern, it will take some away. So the kick's playing the most notes it can play, fully complex, and the variation is boom, ba boom, 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 ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom. Okay, the double sixteenth da dum da dum kicks are taken off the third and fourth beat of all the odd bars. All right. Now you may get a further variation at each level of complexity, but some of the variations work evenly across eight bars, meaning that the variation gives you the exact same variation for every four bars. Other variations are not equal for the first four and then the next lot of four bars. Other variations work best with a four bar long region. Okay? But you get different variations. Also, you can get further variations by just sometimes by just tweaking the loudness. Only a smidge, enough just moving the loudness of this ball vertically, so little that it isn't going to make the drum sound louder or quieter, but it will change the pattern. There, look. Now there's a slightly different variation. The double eighths, the boom boom at the end of the bar, has been taken off the one and the five, just the first bar of every block of four, but it's still there on all the others. All right, okay. So you can get different variations also by slightly tweaking the loudness. All right. Let's go back to that other variation where there's double eighth at the end of every bar. All right. So I'll bring the kick down to its next level of complexity there. Double eights at the end of every bar, but now the double sixteenths are only on the second beat. Now the phrase variation here will probably be the same as the first one. Yeah, you know there it is. The double sixteenths are taken off the third and fourth beat for every odd bar. There is no double eighth at the end of those odd bars. But again, I could get that variation with the double eights back by just tweaking the loudness, etc. Okay, so let's go a little bit further down the complexity range for the kick. Bit further down, there it's doing double sixteenths, bomb, ba bomb, 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 double sixteenth only on the second beat of every bar, and the variation is it brings double eights back in on some of the bars at the end of the two and the six, and um, also now at the end of the fourth bar. Now it's gone from the fourth bar. You see what I mean? You see how there's some of the, it's just making variations. And as I say, some of those variations will work across eight bars equally for each block of four. Other variations won't be equal for each block of four, etc. But there's another variation. All right. Bring the kick a little bit further down its complexity range. It's doing four on the floor now, and the variation is it puts double sixteenths back on the second beat of the even bars and a double eight at the end of every four bars, but that can be further changed by just tweaking the loudness, and you may get the double eights disappearing. Now the double eights have disappeared at the end of every four bars, and the variation is double sixteenth on the second beat of every other bar. Bom, 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 like that, okay? So you see what I mean? Now I'll bring the kick down to where it's doing four on the floor there, and the variation is it puts some double sixteenths back on the second beat of every even bar. 
etc and then again by tweaking the loudness you may get a further variation okay so at every level of complexity you get a variation there's another variation the kicks a little bit further down it's four on the floor range and now the variation is a double sixteenth on the second beat of only every fourth bar okay at every level of complexity a drum has although generally you don't get a variation when it's right at the lowest level but at every level of complexity a drum has there's a variation on that pattern now this phrase variation mostly affects the kick so you you can kind of work with this phrase variation focusing on changing the kick pattern and making a variation on the kick pattern but yes the phrase variation will affect a high-end layer whatever is active in the high-end layer it will but only subtly yes the phrase variation will affect the percussion claps and snares but again only very subtly okay so this phrase variation mostly affects the kick all right so we've got this fantastic ability to have different drums active in different layers with different patterns for the active drums for the different layers the overall pattern at a certain complexity individual drums restricted to different complexities and the ability to bring in variations on the phrasing yeah which gives us a vast variety of beats we can make yeah do you get it okay that's how it all works um so let's look at some techniques we can do